here we will see different string functions in c sharp first is upper case which is used to convert the string to upper case then lower case which is used to convert the string to lower case length function is used to display the length of a string index of function is used to find the index position of a specific character in a string trim function removes extra white spaces from beginning and ending of string substring function returns substring of a string starts with function checks whether the first character of a string is same as specified character concat function is used to concat two strings and contents function checks whether specified string or character exist in string or not here we will see how string functions are used in a windows application for this first we'll add a form and here on this form we will add some controls i have added two text boxes for accepting the string and one text box for displaying the function result and these different buttons i have added from which i am going to execute this string functions now we will set this form as a startup form and we will execute it i will enter here string and if i click on upper case the result will be the string displayed in upper case here we have written this information about this function that is it is used to convert the string to upper case if you are using it with text box then the syntax is text box dot text dot to upper and if you are using with string then string name dot upper then i will click on lower case the result will be displayed in this text box with lower case letters and here is a information about this function that is this function is used to convert the string to lower case general syntax is if you are using the text box then text box dot text dot to lower and if you are using the string variable then string name dot lower then if i click on length it will display the length of a string that is 7 and syntax is if you are using the text box and if you are assigning the value to the text box then text box name dot text dot length dot to string since length function returns integer value and the text box stores only string value so we have to convert it to string and if you are using the string variable then string name dot length and if you are assigning it to text box then dot to string then index of for this we will enter a character and if we click on this index of it will display the index position of a specific character in a string i have given this l here since string is an array the starting position will be 0 so 0 1 2 l will be at second position and the syntax is text box name dot text dot index of the second text box that is the value that you have entered to check and if it is string variable then string name dot index of the variable that you want to check next we'll see trim function it will truncate the beginning and ending spaces in the string if i give spaces here and if i click on trim it will truncate the spaces and display the string the syntax is text box name dot text dot trim next is substring here i have given the first string as a welcome and second string that is the position up to which you want the characters from this string i have given this to 
so when I click on substring button it will display W and E that is first two characters the syntax is the text box value that is txt result equal to the text box from which you want to get the substring that is txt first dot text dot substring and from which position you want to display the string I have given here 0 and the text box and the second text box value so the function will execute from 0th position to 2 so it will display first two characters w and e next we'll see starts with i will enter here w and i will click on starts with it will display the true value that is it checks whether the first character of a string is same as specified the character if I give here L and I will click on starts with it will display false since first character is W the syntax is the text box name dot starts with and the string that you want to check next is concat it will concat two strings so when I click on concat it will display welcome home the syntax is string dot concat and the text box names txt first comma txt second so it will combine these two text boxes and display the string and next is contents it will check whether the entered character is present in the first string so if i press l it will check contents it will return true and if I check F it will return false syntax is the text box name dot text dot contents the second text box